And finally, from Canada, a Montreal shopping mall has decided to tackle homelessness by exposing them to an all-out musical assault. A children's nursery rhyme called Baby Shark is being played on loop, particularly in the emergency stairwells to prevent homeless people from seeking shelter inside the mall. Now, it's a strategy so unconventional that it's left Canadians actually fuming. And as the nation faces a growing homelessness crisis, outrage is rising as some are calling the strategy psychological torture. Here's more from Montreal. Good old Canada, a land famed for politeness, maple syrup, and apparently turning children's tunes into weapons of mass annoyance. A mall in Montreal called Complex Desjardins Mall decided to take on homelessness by blasting the Baby Shark song on loop. Yes, you heard that right. Forget about affordable housing or social programs, this mall in Montreal figured a children's earworm was the answer to a systemic crisis. Canada is really raising the bar here. Picture this. You're a homeless person in Montreal trying to find warmth from the brutal cold. And you find peace in an emergency stairwell. Then suddenly the baby shark song's sharp to do 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 to do echo pierces the air like an auditory nightmare. The mall's brilliant plan? To use baby shark as a sonic scarecrow to deter loitering. Apparently, this has been going on for over a year now, with the mall's spokesperson smugly dubbing it a sound solution. If only solving homelessness were as simple as weaponizing children's music. Critics, naturally, were less impressed. Sam Watts, the CEO of Welcome Hall Mission, called out the tactic for what it is. Juvenile, exclusionary and wildly ineffective. He said, and I quote, you can't fix homelessness with nursery rhymes. Advocates for the homeless were quick to point out this so-called solution is about as effective as putting a band-aid on a broken leg. Social media also had its own field day with this solution. David Chapman of Resilience Montreal highlighted the real issue. Canada has steadily slashed funding for homeless shelters, leaving thousands without options. But instead of tackling the root causes, cities like Montreal prefer to mask the problem, literally drowning it out with catchy jingles. And let's not forget the irony here. Complex Desjardins Mall sits a stone's throw from the old Brewery Mission, which is Montreal's largest homelessness support organization. It's like setting up a salad bar outside a burger joint and wondering why people are still craving fries. Apparently, Montreal isn't the only place to embrace Baby Shark as the ultimate nuisance. A shop owner in British Columbia used it to shoo people away after hours and officials in the American state of Florida even once blasted it to keep people from napping on city property. Because nothing says we care about you like deploying an endless loop of a children's nursery rhyme. This is where Canada's reputation for being nice starts to look more like passive aggression. Sure, the mall claims to have hired social workers to dialogue with the homeless, but when your main approach involves psychological warfare by playing baby shark on loop, it's clear that compassion isn't exactly their priority. At the end of the day, Montreal's baby shark fiasco is a reminder that addressing homelessness requires more than juvenile stunts. It demands empathy, resources, and dare we say, effort. So Canada maybe put down the loudspeakers and pick up a housing policy manual. Because while Baby Shark might clear a stairwell, it certainly won't solve the real problem. <laughs>